Hello! Hi! If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. Alright, cool. Enjoy the video. As someone I follow who used to primarily game and every once in a while they would do react video and now it's all they do is notice they change the personality. Uh, personality and air quotes. Disappointing. Like, if you want to change your content, then do it, but do it your own way and don't copy others just because... Yeah, that's... That's another thing, too, that a lot of people get twisted, and I mean, like, twisted hard. You could, well, it's not so much you can argue. Like, I did, me personally, I did, uh, do, like, a, a major switch from, um, my own content, because when I started streaming as a VTuber, um, consistently and all that... I, uh, I would only, and I really do, I would only stream Sonic and JRPGs, and I was like, huh, I kind of want to do other things, but I want to build up an established following of me doing this particular thing, but eventually I was like, yeah, this gotta, this, this gotta change, there's gotta be something else I can do. In the process of me doing that, I did, um, take bits and pieces from this streamer and that streamer and i you know remixed it and made it into my own little thing you know like for 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 ages i didn't have um segmented out discussion streams or discussion parts in my streams to cut out into youtube videos i didn't have that for a long time and now that i do have that and i do it a lot not only is that a an important diversification that's also what what permits me to be able to post a video on youtube once a week because i take it out of here and i throw it up over there unfortunately there's a lot of people out here that don't grasp that and that kind of sucks because it's like um <laughs> It's like what Syndrome said in The Incredibles. If everybody's super, no one is. And to translate that over to content creation, if everybody's doing the same thing, then everything is going to suck. You know, nothing's going to be different. If no one's doing anything unique, we're not going to have any uniqueness. If everyone's doing the same damn thing, there's going to be no innovation. There's not, there's not going to be anything to look forward to from other people. And, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to stagnate because stagnation sucks no matter how, no matter how you put it. Like, you always got to switch up the game. Like, shit, even like this year, for example, right? The year's not over yet, but I did a podcast for the very first time. I, I, I did a video essay, never did one of those before. Um, you know, I don't really do collab streams, but my podcast thing, that was a collab stream. Uh, I don't really stream games on release. I was streaming Final Fantasy 16 day one when it came out. You know, I, I, I started doing editing streams, which is an, another different form of content that I haven't done before. And, 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 like, even as scuffed as it is, because fucking CapCut has a seizure whenever I want to stream the damn thing. But, again, that's, that's different. That's, that's new. And, well, some people like my editing streams. You know, there's a couple names that show up uh, only when I do my editing streams, because it's, it's, uh, uh, it's on the lower energy side, you know, it's chill. And you can see how my editing mind works live. Some people like that. Even with uh, TikTok. Almost for a whole month now. I wake up. I make a TikTok out of the very first thing that I think about. And I post that as a TikTok. Because what I used to do. Just like everybody else that was an up and coming content creator. I would usually only post my Twitch clips. And I was like, I, I'm not really feeling this anymore. 
So I figured, fuck it, I'll do something different. And I am doing that different thing. And on the subject of things that are different, uh, ads, according to my ads manager in OBS, are going to start in a minute and 15 seconds. So I'm just letting you know ahead of time. Yeah, the whole diversification thing is something that people should be doing and something that uh, people shouldn't be afraid of. But, you know, in the... Ugh, in the oh so wonderful world of the general VTubing space, people act like change is the worst thing imaginable. And if you if you even offer someone to do it, they treat you like you should be crucified or something. One of the things that I did want to talk about today, one of my discussion points that I will be posting to YouTube, is that recently there was a self-hosted event by one person and i want to stress it was done by one person in the vtubing space and it was like a little uh award show shout out thingy thing and it i want to put emphasis on the small vtuber part of it because that's what it was for and that's who it was for and there were a lot of people that either were nominated or were not nominated uh pissed off that they didn't win and giving the poor person uh heat for it and saying that like oh well this person shouldn't have won that person shouldn't won basically it's a lot of entitlement happening with uh the the very very misplaced backlash from a free self-hosted self-organized shout out event that went down and it's it, it it's another problem in the vtubing space because there are a lot of people that are tremendously entitled i'll say that when it comes to certain things and when I say that there were people catching hell because they didn't win and people throwing a hissy fit that they didn't win, all that that did was show that they weren't deserving of being nominated or winning in the first fucking place, right? Let's keep it stacked because there's no, there's no reason that you're mad that you didn't win because you just, quite frankly, didn't meet the criteria for winning. Because, you know, an award show has certain things that need to be met. You gotta, you know, appeal this way or appeal that way and what have you. And there were, like, a few thousand names that were submitted for nomination. And there were, like, a lot of categories to go over and a lot of things to review. You can't just review every single small VTuber that got nominated for the thing anyway. And it is what it is. And there are some people on there that were like kind of big, but I I do believe to my memory, I do believe that the criteria for counting as a small VTuber was like having uh under a hundred average. And I think for every single person in the category that won, they had under a hundred average. So that's another thing because a lot of people, and I and I talk about this a lot uh, before, but there are a lot of people who put too much weight and too much emphasis on Twitter followings because there are people doing the whole like, oh, they have all these followers on Twitter. Why did they win? They're not a small VTuber when it was for streaming and making content and tweets and a following count is not that at all and a lot of people had shit twisted for real and all they wanted to do was just do a little thing for the community and gives more people some recognition because the only reason that this smaller vtuber thing uh happened in the first place is because there's another vtuber by the name of Philian who is uh, doing hers in like, like December. 
But people were already like, oh, it's just going to be like a circle jerk of all the big VTubers that are out there. And people were like, let's just do a smaller one. And like, not so much retaliation, but just like, just to do one period, I guess. But, you know, as par for the course in the VTubing space, uh, there's a lot of people out here who just can't appreciate a nice thing and have to make a nice thing into a bad thing. And then they wonder why people don't want to do things for the community as a whole because someone somewhere will get pressed by it and turn it into an unnecessary problem and uh, ruin it effectively. And, you know, watching all this go down, I'm just like, yo, are y'all really out here tweaking over not winning or not being nominated? That That's like so so crazy entitled that you're showing really really well that you shouldn't have gotten nominated in the first goddamn place we're gonna act like that